I just thought I would make this video quickly to vent a little about what I'm feeling right now. I just feel utterly disgusted, horrified, sad, and enraged because I was driving home and I saw this car with a bumper sticker that read, vaccinate your crotch goblins. And I was like, wow. That's what people are calling kids now, crotch goblins. I made a video about childism and how society views children in a negative light and how this is the root of all of the problems in society and how people are worshiping dogs while speaking about children in derogatory ways and just how upside down this is. You know, I don't know if people have looked around, but kids nowadays are so messed up. They are killing themselves in record numbers. Addiction rates are skyrocketing among kids. They are using drugs, they're drinking, they are self-destructing before our eyes. They are suffering so much. They have depression and anxiety. I have never seen it so bad. And I've been alive now for 45 years. I've never seen such a sad state of affairs when it comes to children. And I know it's because of the way we are raising our children and the way we view them as a society. Do you think kids are not aware of these messages you are putting out, calling them crotch goblins? All of these memes you see everywhere, posts on social media when it's time for the kids to go back to school, parents rejoice because they can't stand being around their kids, glorifying wine and alcohol because it seems like there's no other way to cope being around your kids than getting drunk. Like, like pa parents just can't even stand their own kids. And this has become socially acceptable. Kids are aware of this message. And they are growing up feeling unwanted, unloved, unappreciated. And this translates into all of their mental health issues that we see. I was at the eye doctor with my six-year-old today. He was having his eyes checked. And just like with my two older children, everywhere we go, every medical professional that we have ever seen with them has always, without fail, commented on how well-behaved they are. Today, I was told for, I don't know how many times I've been told this, that they rarely see an adult who is able to sit for such a long period of time, sit so still and not move around and not squirm about. They cannot believe my son is only six. They cannot believe how well-behaved he is, how personable he is, how outgoing he is. They, they just are in awe of my children. And why are my kids this way? Why do they stand out from, you know, all the other kids? All of these medical professionals tell me they've never seen kids so amazing as mine. And it's because of how we raised them. We let them know that they were loved, that they were the most important things in our lives, that we love nothing more than to be with them, that they were precious. These are the messages they grew up with. And they know that they are loved and they know they are special and they feel that. And it translates into healthy self-esteem and happiness. People are so backward. We call ourselves civilized. We call ourselves progressive and we think we are above animals. We are below animals. Even animals do not treat their kids the way we treat our kids as a society. All of this love and adoration, why are we misplacing it onto dogs? Why are we not placing it onto our children, showering our children with that love? Could you just imagine how amazing this world would be if every child was given the love that my kids get? I, I just feel like crying when I think about it. It is just terrible. I look around, I see how people are raising their kids teaching them that it's okay to litter. The litter problem in my town is crazy. Um, just so respectless. I've been watching TED Talks about narcissism. Narcissism really ties into this whole dog culture too. 
Um, we are glorifying narcissists in our society. They're holding positions of power. We admire narcissists. We look up to them. And this whole culture of taking, 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 not giving a shit about the others, selfishness, lack of empathy. Ah, there's so much I could talk about right now. I just feel quite hopeless, actually. I keep talking about how the future is dog-free. I don't even know if there's going to be a future for humanity. I came across this article today that's talking about how the end of human civilization is right around the corner. If we do not drastically change our ways, if we continue along this trajectory, it's going to be the end for us very soon. Do you want a future? Do you want a habitable planet? Do you care at all about your, your children and your grandchildren? About the continuation of our species? Uh, if you do, you need to change. People need to change the way they treat children, the way we're raising children, because we are raising a generation that, you know, these kids are so messed up and they are the ones that are going to be running the show in a little while, once we are all too old to work and to keep this society going, it's going to be these fucked up kids that are going to have to do it. And how are we preparing them for that? We are neglecting our kids. We are handing them over to strangers who don't care about them. And we're saying, here, take my kids off my hands because, you know, I need to go walk my precious pooch. Or whatever. We love dogs and we hate kids as a society. And this is why everything is just so messed up in our world right now. I just feel so sad today. And I'm like, just feeling really hopeless. Um, when I was doing research for my video about emotional support dogs, I came across YouTube videos and articles of dogs on airplanes, pit bulls in the cabin of an airplane. And in the comments, it's like people just saying that, oh, so precious and beautiful and so cute. Oh, and so much better behaved than kids. And it should be illegal to have kids on airplanes. But dogs should be on every airplane. Oh, I would love an airplane full of dogs. So much better than screaming, crying kids. You know, and I'm like, are these... I was talking to a friend of mine this morning and she was like, maybe this is just a very loud and vocal minority that's making it look as though the majority feels this way about kids but I don't know I'm suspecting that the majority does in fact feel this way about kids she was saying to me oh it's like there's a a silent majority who agree with us that children are obviously more valuable than dogs but they just don't say it as loudly as you know dog lovers are saying that dogs are more worthy and valuable. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Because I think it's looking really bleak. And it's just really depressing me today. And I guess I'm asking for some kind of reassurance that making these videos and putting out these ripples to try to change the world for the better is worth my time. Some days I just feel like giving up, honestly. Uh, it's just so depressing. So... I guess that's all I want to say. If there is a future at all, it's got to be dog-free. If we continue to worship dogs, and if we continue to treat our children the way we are, there will be no future. We need to be asking ourselves, do we want a future? If yes, we need to change what we're doing. We need to wake up.